Drip irrigation is one of the richest methods that we can be able to use to help us in water conservation in our farms. I hope you'll be able to learn something in this episode where we are going to use drip irrigation in our field to grow tomatoes and help us increase our household income. If this is your first time in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. My name is Tenslaus Wanda and we are back again and I've taken you to another net shed to show you another type of crops that we are farming. So with here we normally do, we are doing the farming of the tomatoes and as you can see uh, the tomatoes are planted in a good spacing for them uh, when they grow up they will get a good space for uh, yeah, they will just be good when they grow up. So, and if you look very keenly, we are using the, the drip lines. The reason why we are using these drip lines is that we need a good distribution of water and we can give our tomatoes waters at any required time. Uh, and also, as you can see, in this next shed, we have planted a thousand seedlings. So it will be very much quite tiresome when you come with the water can uh, sprinkling to each and every crop. So uh, another advantage is just uh, the drip lines will give us a humble time to do the, the irrigation. And uh, when I talk about the variety that is grown in this greenhouse, it is that uh, it's pest free, though we, we are just trying to increase its lifespan by planting it inside the, the net shed. So with the net shed, we, we shall harvest these uh, tomatoes at a very longer period of time of maybe one to two years. One of the best benefit of planting uh, tomatoes in a net shed is that uh, we shall help them to avoid uh, the pest. The pest will not enter inside the greenhouse. Example of the, of the pest that they normally affect the tomatoes and it's very hard to control uh, these are white flies so you see we we have now controlled the white flies they cannot enter inside the, the our net shed to affect our our tomatoes okay we are using a ridge and furrow type of farming system uh, uh, this is because actually this area is a flooding area if you know canoe plains so uh, this one will help us uh, will we'll help our crops not getting a lot of water and uh, you know as you know the tomatoes doesn't need a lot of water it's because uh, we need water to flow and also the the furrow someone can walk inside maybe during when uh, trying to check on maybe pruning the uh, pruning our tomatoes and also um, uh, with the ridge and furrow farming system our tomatoes won't be able to get a lot of water from the furrows because the water will be will be living uh, in, in our greenhouse actually we don't use any chemicals uh, everything here is organic yes thanks so much for watching i hope you are able to learn something on this and you can be able to enjoy it the water as you always do and don't waste this water in your home. Please thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Share. Thank you.